You and your woman are asleep in bed upstairs. You hear someone break into the house downstairs. Who goes downstairs? They Nobody. Go. Tripping. <laughs> X2, you tripping. Hold on, hold on. X2, so you're not going down there? Nobody's going down there. So what if they come you, upstairs? Bro, you got to you gotta protect. Bro, hold I'll up, keep bro. it a buck 50 protect, real quick. Oh, protect. Real quick, real quick. I'll keep it a buck 50. No, no, no. no. My job is to survive, not protect. My job is to survive. And sometimes that means the guy, the guy goes down there, the guy's a gun. It what doesn't matter. That's what not the very fuck I do? We are, of you, bro. We are both going down by, no. doing the, by doing the smart thing, the analytical thing, the strategic thing. We can both survive. If but I go down, not only am I jeopardizing myself, I am jeopardizing both of us by not being smart and a leader in that regard. We are even more in danger if I go down than if I not go down. You're, hi you're hiding, though. You're hiding. So? Like, you got to try to protect your girl. What? Why is no. that crazy? Bro, bro, you are losing your... You live in America, right? No, you're, you're losing your mind. Okay, my, my job if is not to protect... If someone breaks into my protect. house, I'm... Go, I'm, I'm my job them. is I'm to... I mean, we all know what the man is supposed to do. What the man's responsibility is. I mean, I mean nowadays, you know, gender roles seem to not exist anymore. You got what I means I'm trying to understand where a perspective such as this comes from, but it makes sense given where we are right now, right? Um, but yeah, that's just. <clears throat> No. No. <laughs> no, but let's, let's, <laughs> fuck no. What? Uh, yeah, I, I'm just here to see what Tate got to say. Come on, dog. Eat his shit, bro. Eating the body. Yeah, but my, so in the in the in the scenario we're describing, you're upstairs. You hear someone break in. Your girl turns to you and goes, "Someone's cutting the house. Someone's in the house." One of you has to go downstairs. Why? Why? Why does it go downstairs? Why, why, why does it go there? Is why, it you or, why, why do you have to go down there? Why? If you don't believe you have any kind of intrinsic masculine duty to at least attempt to protect your female, then that explains why we disagree on every single point. Yes, because, not, I'm going to give you further than that. Yeah. I even have a, 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 a even higher duty to not protect her, to not even protect myself. I, I have a duty woman. to fucking survive. Surviving oh, in that right. scenario means... That's, that's, I mean, that's, that's fight or flight for some people, man. <laughs> But no, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not giving this motherfucker any type of benefit of the doubt. I'm trying. I mean, I know we're in a soft ass society right now, especially when it comes to men. So, I mean, if there was any time where a, a perspective like this should exist, it would make sense for it to exist right now. But I, I'd be willing to bet that the vast majority of men, regardless of how feminine they are, how soft they are, how much they are struggling in with life, if they are with a woman, and he's in his home with his woman, and he hears somebody breaking in the motherfucking home. He getting his ass up off the motherfucking couch and figuring out what the hell is going on, bro. Is what you mean? That, that is the fucking man's responsibility is to provide and protect. I mean, you know, providing nowadays, you know, that's a whole fucking other issue. But come on, dog. At least, and come on, bro. At least protecting your motherfucking household. You're going to just let somebody just run off through, ransack your shit, steal all your shit, fuck up your property, fuck up your shit, steal your TV, break your TV, steal your car. You're going to just let that shit fucking happen because you scared you want to fucking survive. You don't know what the hell they doing down there. You don't know what the fuck they got down there, but you know what the fuck you got in your goddamn house. Bro, I mean, but I mean, every, I, and I know everybody's not built for it. Everybody's not built for it. You know what I mean? A lot of motherfuckers will avoid confrontation at all costs or avoid physical physical altercations at all costs. These these are those situations where the fucking man is supposed to step the fuck up. And those men who choose not to step up and just want to fucking survive, bruh, your relationship will be will never be the same. <laughs> your relationship with your woman will never be the same. She's going to look at your ass like a little bitch. Rest of it, bruh. Rest of it. I don't give a fuck how... Big, bad, and tough you are, how fucking soft your ass is, bro. Like, even if your woman was likely to suspect that you would never do something to protect them in them circumstances, for the fact that she will actually see that shit happening, you know, in present time in front of her, oh, it's curtains for your ass in that relationship. It is a fucking wrap, dog. I know, you know, 99.9% .9 of the fellas on this platform are all going to agree with this side of it, dog. You're going to just let somebody just fuck up your domain? Come on, bro. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. The hell? The hell? 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But my bad. My bad. <laughs> Tate about to get his ass, though. Tate about to get him, dog. Okay, listen, Andrew. <clears throat> If somebody breaks into the house, she is more likely than not likely to have a certain tool to get in or a weapon. If Shoot. I do not possess that like weapon, bitch. right? I am bitch. not going down there with bare hands. A, you can because have we will both have a, die. You can have a weapon. I'm not saying you don't have a weapon. I'm saying. Uh, another, the, uh, another all, and then you break it down. Another fucking argument like that, bro. You need to stop doing that. I'm not I I was just just struggling out of that. that. I you was struggling out of that. What the fuck? Why he getting so upset, bro? Like, you know your ass was never, he would never fucking talk to you. That's a whole different motherfucking conversation now, because, you know, I dealt with shit like this firsthand with these goddamn little Twitter thumb warrior motherfuckers to talk all type of shit on the other side of the screen, knowing damn well he would never address Tate like that to his fucking face. Bruh, especially given what the fuck this man is explaining right now. Like, you won't even go down to address the fucking threat in your house. Now, all of a sudden, you big, bad, and tough because you don't like what the fuck somebody's saying? Come on, bruh. You looking like a clown. I don't know who the fuck this is. I don't know who the fuck this is. I'm just here. I'm just here for the fuckery about to come out of uh, Tate's mouth. Well, it ain't going to be fuckery. It's about to be all real shit. You know what I mean? But come on, dog. Yo ass, you, you putting on the show, bro. Who the fuck is this motherfucker, dog? He, he out here looking like a whole clown. Uh, you don't need, need to, to stop this. doing that shit yeah. again. Of Stop with a blanket argument and then break it down. You got to stop Jesus. doing that. <laughs> you're, you're, you're making very simple questions complicated. Let me change the question. Again, Three twice. You're upstairs. No, it's not. I'm not. I'm changing the question because your answers are stupid. So I'm doing it's you a, a, it's a bro. Your answer is stupid, bro, because everyone knows that you have a duty to protect your woman and you're pretending you don't. I don't you, agree. I don't not even a little bit wrong. Well, then may, perhaps you are a coward, but let Facts. me give you the last chance. But in, but in I, a way, I, 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 I survive. No, no, hold on, guys, guys, yeah, guys, guys, coward listen, shit. listen, listen. This, this is crazy to me because it's both like, going over your what, head. What, what, it reminds me, I mean, chivalry, all that shit. Like, you know, those who are first to evacuate, you know, uh, natural disasters and fires like the Titanic and shit. The first motherfuckers off the boat were the women and children. The man stay there and fucking fight. But his ass gonna be trying to jump over there with the fucking women and children because he a whole little bitch out here, bro. <laughs> he a whole little bitch out here. That's all it is. Bitch, 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 bitch. That's, that's what the fuck that is. That's what the fuck that is, dog. You gonna just sit there and be just hoping the motherfuckers just going through your crib and steal all your shit and leave you alone? Just want them to fucking leave? You over here shearing in your boots with your girl and your and, and whatever, your, your teddy bears and shit? Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Listen, both of you have the same instinct as a male, okay? Your tactics are different. Do you understand? You're, you're both agreeing with each other. You're just arguing whose tactic is better, which is irrelevant to the argument. Both really? of you, both no, of you no. have the instinct to protect your woman, and the woman has the instinct to protect the man. Your tactics are just different. Yours is to go downstairs and to manhandle the dude. XQC's is more tactical in the sense what she wants to. But the guy hide. has a gun. The guy has a gun. I know nope. it's not wrong. It's not bad. What you're saying is fine. Then what? Both the of you agree. Then what? The instinct is to survive I, and protect. I, I see what Buddy's saying. I see what Buddy's saying. Like, if, if you take gender roles and. Like, you're just your fucking natural masculine instinct for most men is to pro fucking protect people, not just survive. I mean, you're forgetting that dynamic of it, but you, you both weren't wrong. Like, you're, no one's wrong if you, because if, if, you go, if you go down there and dress the threat and the threat turns around killing your ass, then all right, well, you made the wrong decision because the motherfucker got over on you. But it's just, that's just, uh, that's, most of men's natural course is to go down there and, you know, go out swinging to protect his domain and not stay up there hiding like a bitch. That says a lot about you. You know what I'm saying? The type of man you are, the type of shit you stand on, right? And most men will fucking die fighting for their fucking family to protect them and make sure their domain is straight. That's where the, I would, I would assume that's where the majority of men sit with it, regardless of how soft of a fucking society we're in. Now that I think about it, I disagree with what the fuck he's saying, though. One of them is to survive. One of them is to address what the fuck is going on. And whatever happens from him addressing what the fuck is going on is going to be the outcome, right? Tate's sole purpose when we go down there, any man's sole intent to go down there is to survive while cleaning up what the fuck is going on there, making sure you're saving the fucking crib, saving your family and shit, right? You hope, Hopefully, you will survive whatever takes place down there. But you ain't worried about it. You ain't worried about it. You worried about getting whatever the fuck is out there and making sure your fucking family is safe. It ain't about just fucking surviving. 
It's about making sure my family is good, making sure my house is good. Whatever fucking happens to me, happens to me. That's what the fuck is on. You know what I mean? And, you know, maybe it ain't fucking smart to look at it that way, but just, that's the way it is, man. That's the fucking man, that's the man's responsibility to make sure the family is fucking safe. And not to get robbed and get your shit fucked up and get your shit broken or whatever, man. You know what I mean? The instinct is to survive and protect. No one said the guy has nah, a No, he ain't, but buddy ain't say nothing about protecting. This uh, what, XQC, he said nothing about protecting. He said his responsibility was not to protect his wife or protect his girl or whatever. It was to fucking survive. I ain't protecting shit. Maybe protecting your own life by making sure you survive. But you ain't worried about nobody else besides your own survival. And that's fucking, that's cowardly as shit. Done. And we're not, and Both of what, you were right. So you know, now the, the, the guy, the guy nah, does nah, have a gun. Nah, I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. The point I'm trying to make is that when if, if somebody in this hypothetical, <laughs> if somebody has to deal with the threat and engage, if someone did, between you and your female partner, who would be the person who decides to deal with the threat? You or the girl? Um, I think that's irrelevant. Yeah, it's really wh wh whoever, whoever can have the best outcome of fixing that with with it can be even both at the same time. Maybe a cooperation. Irrelevant. Who? What, 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 what if? What if? What if? I have a gun. I go to the back and I make her. And I, okay, I'll, I'll go open the door and I blast them. Now, now we both. Good. So you went. Good. Fine. That answers the question. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Okay. I'm just okay. trying to. Okay. But why does it got to be that deep, bro? Like the nine times out of ten. Unless your fucking girl's out here with fucking jujitsu as a jujitsu expert or a black belt or some shit, nine times out of ten, the man's gonna have a is gonna be the the better option when it comes to addressing the threat just because he's a fucking man. Physicality on it, right? He's gonna be able to handle whatever's going on much better than the woman is just because the the natural physical difference between men and women. Why's it gotta go that fucking deep, bro? You just he's just being a bitch. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm just trying, like, trying not to be so hostile towards Buddy. I just, his energy got me all fucked up because he's not making any valid points. He's just saying pretty much, you know, I'm just, I'm just soft. I, I actually, actually reverse actually. I'm pretty bad at shooting, let's say. I opened the door then. She shot. <laughs> Am I still the man? I'm trying to make you guys understand. Well, no, 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 no I'm trying to make deep. you understand. Am I still good now that I opened the door and then she shot? Or is that not good enough? It ain't that deep. That's bro. fine, but that's not the scenario I described. The then, scenario I'm describing are the fact that when it push comes to shove, and we end up in unfortunate situations. A man has a duty to protect his female. That's intrinsic. That's evolutionary. That's something we were hardwired with. It's something that society has always built into men until recent times. Facts. What you're saying now may be fine. If 30 years ago a dude said, I won't go downstairs and I'll tell my woman oh, we're just both going to hide here together, he would have been mocked forever. Facts. That's like that's that's insanity. Somebody has to engage and it's the man's job. Just like the men stay on the Titanic, the men go to fight. That's a man's imperative. And I don't bro, care. Bro, I see this shit already, bro. But that's real shit. Men and women, or women and children get off. Men fucking stay. Figure it out. Doesn't matter that I can fight. If I'm at number 10 to 1 and they have machetes and I'm going to lose, fine. No one's going to rape my chick without me trying. That's my masculine imperative and my duty as a man. Facts. The point I'm trying to make is, so let me change the scenario. You're upstairs. You have an AR-15. Three unarmed men break in. Between you and the chick, one of you has to take the gun and go down there and deal with all three of them. She's scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. They're downstairs. Go, go shoot them. Go shoot. Them. Are you gonna go? Yeah, or why she is she scared? And you, you know, why only can he, can she be? Uh, can you be scared? If she, if she has <laughs> trained better than I do. <laughs> Ooh, bro. You just hey. I hope. I hope this is not where we at. I hope this is not where most men are today, bro. But he don't sound like he sound like from somewhere else. He's not even somewhere else. Like, uh, it's as soft as as soft as uh, a lot of men seem to be. I don't. I, I don't look. Men ain't like this in America. Fuck that. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> like, why is she the only one that's scared? Why can't I be scared? It don't matter if you fucking scared or not, bro. You better go down there and handle that shit. Otherwise, you shouldn't be with a girl, bro. You shouldn't be with a girl, dog. You should be by yourself, making you know, bettering yourself, bro. Because you, if you don't have enough nuts or though, and self awareness and wherewithal to know that it is your responsibility to make sure your girl feels safe around you, then you, you, what, what good are you, bro? What good are you, dog? If a woman don't feel safe with you, bro, it's curtains. It's one of the most important things you are supposed to provide your woman in a motherfucking relationship, and you just. Nah, fuck that. We both, we both uh, SOL. I'm scared. You scared. We both gonna sit here and act like some bitches.
if she's better shooter than I, than I am, she's taking a gun, bro. I'm not. I'm, if I, if she, what? <laughs> she's my, taking the gun just because you just like we could, we could we could take it down his lane. Just because you good with shooting the gun, don't mean you good shooting the gun. That type of environment. Right, <laughs> you maybe in a perfect scenario where these motherfuckers are far enough away where they can't get to her and she has a better chance. But if you in close quarters and motherfuckers dropping on dropping on you, bro, you're gonna have to be able to do more than just shoot, right? And imagine the threats response to seeing a woman coming down with the weapon compared to a man coming down with the weapon. They're going to address those situations. They're gonna address those scenarios extremely differently. I mean, I mean, reality is sex is in the motherfucker. It, uh, like somebody breaking in is not gonna be worried about a fucking woman compared to how they can be worried about a man coming down that bitch. And your little hoe ass gonna fucking send your girlfriend down there with a gun and handle it because she shoots better than you. Nah, motherfucker, you the man supposed to go down and handle that shit. Then I am She's taking a gun, bro. I'm not. I'm, if I, if she, that's crazy. You're in my brain. I'm, I'm not, am I talking Chinese? If, 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 bro, if that's she crazy. ain't gonna shoot her, she's you're taking gonna, a gun. You're gonna send your girl downstairs. I don't know, bro. If she's a you gonna risk your girl, bro. You gonna risk your girl get fucked up by three men down there, dog. Don't know what the fuck happening, bro. Your girl's in just you just sending her off to war, bro. To these three men that's breaking into your crib. What the fuck you think they're gonna do to your girl? If they got the balls to break in your crib, you know what I mean? What type of man? What type of, this type of man, clearly, what type of man would be okay with that? Putting a woman in a risky, risky, it's a, a, a deadly situation. Deadly, not even, because it's gonna the worst type of shit that could happen is gonna happen to a woman when it comes to three men. Just think of all the fucking crazy shit. That can happen between three men and a woman in that type of fucking situation compared to what can happen to a man. A man, he may just get shot, you know what I mean? He just get his ass whooped. A lot of other shit can happen to a girl. And you putting you putting that shit at risk. Because you scared. Or because she shoot better. What? What? Just because you shoot don't mean nothing. Just because you shoot good don't mean nothing. When when you when your life is at risk and stress is involved and, and your heart beating your asshole tight, they don't that your aim go out the fucking window. It's about how you compose yourself, how you're able to relax in these you no know, tense ass situations, right? And you gonna put your girl in that type of situation because she shoot better than you. Man, that's tough, though. That's tough, though. Better shooter, your damn right she's going that. Of course. <laughs> But how do you know she's a better shooter if you guys have never, like, let's say she never shot a gun before and you never if shot you, if, you, if you have an F-15, you need another training that comes with it. Yes, you do have training. If you're lying, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you you don't. Have training before, <laughs> no, you don't. Yes. Okay. Well, then, so what we've learned from me asking this question is, is that you, bitch. and it's not, this is not an insult, I, I think you'd agree with me saying this, you have no intrinsic desire, no intrinsic duty, or intrinsic innate responsibility to protect your female in any regard. Oh, my you God. Don't, guys, guys, you guys, don't, I'm going to interrupt. Can, can I please interrupt real quick? I'm going to no. interrupt. Okay. No one wants to hear Once you. again, you both agree. Okay. No, you're don't. arguing. No, they for, don't. You have to argue because you're not hearing each other. Okay. Listen, XQC, what Tate is saying about instinct for males is correct. Our instinct to protect will kick in 100%. Now, the next following step, okay. They're not they're saying the same thing, thing bro. you trying to dress it up better. They're not saying the same thing. You're contradicting yourself by saying a man's natural instinct is protect. How are they saying the same thing if Buddy at the bottom is not saying that shit at all? He's not trying to protect anything. He's trying to protect his own life, save his own life. He ain't protecting this. They're not, they're not saying the same thing at all. Fuck out of here. What, no, is, what does that mean? Right, yes. technique. Yes. XQC is being rational about it. So if you were to word it correctly to fit your narrative, Tate, what we would do here is, as a man, XQC would take leadership of the situation and say, okay, I know you are a better shooter than I am. You practice 600 hours a week. I do not. Here's the gun. You are better than me. That takes confidence. Your outlook, Los Poyos, so is insecure. If she has more gun <laughs> training, if she, if she has more you gun training and you... she's confident, you so... make the leadership decision. That's your instinct. Make leadership decision. No, but it's no, not no, how do you know she has more gun No, fam. You ain't about to just do that, bro. It's a difference between being able to shoot a gun and be uh, entrained in tactical, you know, tactical warfare, hand-to-hand -hand combat training. You know what I mean? Just going down there, dropping her in a hostile environment with a fucking gun is entirely different than your ass being on the range shooting at fucking targets. Come on, bro. Train, how do you know? How do you know she has more gun training? Downstairs, 
to I confront would, armed gun, gunmen. Man, listen, like, what are you is, talking about? How am I insecure? That is I want to protect my girl, bro. Bro, 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 that's listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> what Tate is saying is correct. <laughs> Whose instinct kicks in as a? Oh, what's the instinct of a man to protect your girl, yes. protect your kid, protect your family? Yes. Yeah, but if you're protecting your girl, how are you protecting your girl by putting putting her in a risky riskier situation, regardless of if she has the training or not, right? You're not protecting anything. Like you are, uh, I guess you're being quarterback trying to figure out who has the best skills in different situations, right? Like you know, with your your training and experience, I'd imagine you'd be better off in this scenario, so I'm gonna place you in this risky ass situation. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It's like, no, no, I'm not about to I'm not about to put my woman in that type of situation regardless of the fucking training she got, bro. Yeah, you know I mean it's like it's like <laughs> it's like uh uh Michael Jordan taking the last shot, right? He there's better shooters on the motherfucking on the team than him, clearly. But that's Jordan and he gonna fucking close this shit out. That's that's the man in the situation. If somebody is Threatening my fucking family. I don't give a fuck what the hell my girl got training in. I'm handling that shit. I'm not gonna risk her fucking life just because she may have some better training in some shit. And if and, and we talk about her life is in jeopardy. No, fuck that. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. That's where the man's natural instinct is to protect and provide. What if it's your fucking mom? What if your mom had goddamn better? She's a better shooter than you. You gonna place your mom in that fucking position because she shoot better than you? You're, you gonna risk your mama's life because? She shoots, she she has better aim than you with the weapon. She's more comfortable with the fucking weapon. Absolute, absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. You're not going to do that shit. This is just, this is just, you know, hate to fucking break it down, but that alpha beta shit. Alpha beta shit. And there's no woman out here that has worth her fucking anything that's going to take a man with this type of perspective, this type of mindset serious, bruh. It, no, there's no future with there's no future with the man like that, because if he looks if this is, if that's his outlook on fucking life, within the realms of his relationship, bro, y'all are doomed from the fucking start because he's he's not fulfilling his duties as a fucking man, when he's not he's not down to protect the fucking ship at, at, at by any means necessary. And that's what it comes down to, life or death, life or death. I'm risking my life to make sure my fucking family's good. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Hater's right. That is there. But what the technique to follow is, it's is the man to... taking leadership to say, okay, I will shoot and I will miss. But my girl, if she is willing, if she is strong. This motherfucker must be like one of them little uh, streaming motherfuckers, dog, because he sounds crazy. This sounds moronic as hell. She's going to step up and she has more hours than me. And she will hit this guy one shot. Do you understand? If you need to be it don't work that it way. to miss on He be on the video game too much, bro. It don't work that way, pimp. It don't work that way, pimp. No, dog. Hell no. You, your ass on the range hitting targets. Bow, bow, bow. You know what I'm saying? Dead center. Dead center. Put some stress on the motherfucker now. Bitch, your fucking shot gonna be over there some fucking weird. If your life is involved? Nah, fam. And I'm not gonna put my motherfucking women in a fucking situation like that. Even feel that goddamn type of stress. I'm gonna handle it. It is what it is. How's your ego low spoils and say, okay, I took leadership <laughs> and I demanded this and she's my frontline soldier. I can word it that way for you know why? Ego. Listen, listen, do you know why I would do it like this? Because there's a chance, no matter what, going up against someone with a gun that you could die. I don't Rationally, want her to die. If you go I'll with no training, you're dead. You I'll go with no training, he has a gun, you're dead. She can run away. Oh my That's God. what I'm saying, bro. bro. That's not being insecure. That's bro. being the opposite. That's I'm willing to die for my there girl. There is I'm no not way. insecure, bro. That's not the scenario. That's not the scenario. What do you mean that's not the scenario? The scenario, the scenario is, is, oh what, what is she die? John oh Wick oh oh can just kill anyone? Like, like, bro, there's no fucking way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What the fuck? 
What okay. the hell is this? Hey, oh my hey, god. Hey, see, I've been listening to you spew bro. crazy shit for mad long. Bro. I'm saying bro. two things. Oh bro, my bro, bro, god. Bros, bros, bros. Let, 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 oh let me this again. No, this is fair. You're a big dude, right? You're a big dude. You're a big dude. You're a big dude. You're getting a big dude, right? <laughs> right? Right? You're, 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 you have a bigger hitbox, okay? You're Yo. sleeping. And you, you. What the you, hell is this shit? <laughs> Settle down. Don't okay? play Victim. Don't play Victim. Don't play Victim. I'm not insulting him. I'm not insulting him. Like, you take the shit. Anything else? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why Polo is right. Oh. You do not send your woman to fight. You have a duty as a man. And to sit here and say the tactics are different, I understand your point, but it's incorrect, and I'll tell you why. When the, Titan me. the, when the Titanic was sinking, no one was sitting there going, who's a better swimmer, you or me? Who, oh, who, who's better in the cold? Well, you know what, chick? You know what? You actually, you got, you were a better swimmer than me, so if I get on the lifeboat because you're a better swimmer, and that, that's bullshit. You're a man, and you fucking die. Facts. That's the rules. That's the old school Dewey of masculinity to sit here and say, well, my chick might be better with an AR. Bullshit. If, if well, all women want to go in the boat, and nobody knows woman. how to drive the boat, the boat will sink. If nobody no, no, is skilled on. enough hold to on. drive the boat, on, they Christ. will sink and die. All of you are so You'll easily kill baited. All of them. No, it's like going to be masculine. <laughs> they'll hide. Congrats. Let, let me say one thing. Let me answer the Tate's question, okay? Let me explain the contextual difference. The Titanic example is completely correct, and you're right, Tate. In the Titanic example, okay, there is no swimming. Whoever goes in the lifeboat survives. Whoever does not dies. As I a man, mean, our duty, yes, everyone, because the water is so fucking freezing, you will die. So whoever's in the boat survives, okay? That's a fact. You can't deny the fact. It's a fact. So, yes, you're, so yes, you're right. At, as a man, we sacrifice as a protective duty, as the rules say for old time honor, we die, the children and the females survive. You're right. But contextually, in the situation with the gun, do you understand? It isn't a situation of life and death. Yes, you're right. If it is a situation where- But nothing where is my... guaranteed, Train. Oh, nothing is guaranteed. Oh, Even if she no. can shoot better, Lose, let she me shouldn't. Finish, you you big, shouldn't send your girl- barbaric, primitive brute. Let me finish, okay? <laughs> oh my finish. God. Go this ahead, but you're wrong. Go ahead. You guys are this That's fucking fine. dumb. I, I refuse fine. to believe that a being Holy smart enough to own a computer Holy in this shit. call is that fucking stupid. Okay. No, 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 I got an example for you, okay? The, I the, you have a gun, so the gun is the only way you're gonna survive this, okay? Only way you're gonna survive it, okay? The magazine is under the bed, and your bed is real, and it's bolded to the fucking... All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I, I'm trying to... I'm not even trying to get a benefit of the doubt. I'm trying to figure out where this analytical tr best outcome type of shit comes from. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand the perspective, man. But it's like, I mean, we, 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 we don't see things the same way at all. It's like he looks at his life equal to his woman's in that regard it's like if i got if i die swinging you die swinging it's the same shit and that's that's just that's a sad that's sad if that's really how he looks at things where it's like but i mean i don't know shit about this dude i don't know where he's come from i don't know what he was raised i don't know how he's been conditioned to see the fucking world man because like like i say given where we are in society and how you know masculinity is 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 demonized and and you know he what he is saying is like the definition of equality right where both of us are going to address this situation the same we, we're both we both are equally responsible for the potential outcome of this situation right regardless of if i'm the man or you're the woman that's how he looks at it that's the definition of equality and and that makes sense given where we are right now in the direction society seems to be headed but it's just that i'm old school bro and i and i and not even my old school. It's just that I'm a fucking man, and that's just the fucking man's duty. And I mean, if you look, if you look at it wrong, then whatever the fuck ever. But I'm. I would never. I would never. I would never place my fucking my 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 woman, my mom. What if? You, okay. What if it's your daughter and she's a better shooter than you? Gonna put your daughter at risk, regardless if she if she's if she's better at something than you are. No, it's your fucking man. It's your duty as a man to, to make sure everybody's fucking safe. 
to do your best to put the burden on you to relieve them of fucking stress, right? That's 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 the fucking man's responsibility. You ain't about to be just fucking crying and, and telling your girl how fucking scared you are in the situation, making her feel fucking worse. It's your responsibility to, 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 to take all that in, you know what I'm saying? Bear that weight for the benefit of your fucking family. But, I mean, that's the difference between us and them.